Okay, so this is one of the more harder heroic challenges of uh, the boss we're going to do is Baron Geddon. And the deck I'm going to be using is a Warlock one, as you can see on the left side, or your right side, my left, I suppose. That way? Yeah, that way. Yeah. So let's see here. Where's this Warlock deck? Your The challenge with Baron Geddon is that he's got 100 points of damage that you need to punch through. Not only that, his hero power sets you up and it does, I believe, 10 damage per turn, assuming you have any leftover mana. So that's a big problem. Because that means you might die in about three turns. And we're going to use a Warlock because they have a number of ways to get rid of their minions. Uh, in this case, though, we are going to get rid of the Void Caller and the Floating Watcher. And hopefully get a fairly decent hand. Oh, no, that's not the greatest hand. It's okay. We got a nice curve here because for the next four turns, we, uh, we won't take any damage from Ignite Mana at all because we can drop a Flame Imp. And then on the second turn, use a Life Tap to draw cards. So our eventual strategy is to get out... Malganus and hopefully have him live long enough so that the hero becomes immune and the like here. Let's see, I may as well draw a hero power again and pass the turn. Let's see, now we're on the Third turn, we don't really have much we can do, unfortunately. There's no Shadow Bolt, there's no minion to blow up, so that means we have to drop a Gnome and use a Hero Power. So we don't have, we don't give Geddon a chance to burn us with his uh, Ignite Man at all. Oh, good grief, that's got 104 damage that I need to cut through. That's no good. We're gonna get a Void Caller out now. Thankfully, oh, there's the Hellfire. Let's see here. Deal five damage to minion. Demon Heart's our only option. We can make it nice and big here. We get a nice, impressive six, eight, six. What do we have? Uh, Hmm. <sighs> Another Hellfire, lovely. So we're at 17 health. We could use a bit of life, but we're going to sit on it a little bit longer. We'll drop a Floating Watcher and a Clockwork Gnome. Now we should start getting a little bit concerned about our health. The Living Bomb there. Ooh, he's got two Living Bombs. Okay, so this is where the Void Terror comes in handy. If both of these explosions go off when I pass my turn, I would I would essentially die, because I take 20 damage combined. But luckily we have a way to get rid of them, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to first attack with both of them, just to get the damage out of the way and actually fully utilize it. And then we're going to drop a Void Terror. So the Void Terror now has the combined attack and health of both of the minions that uh, were sacrificed here. I still have four mana that I need to to, uh, to utilize. I don't have much in the way of options right now, and which means my only play is to really Dark Bomb, uh, get in, and uh, use a Hero Power. Which is not good because I'm starting to run out of uh, stuff now, unfortunately. Okay, we've got these nice spare parts that do function as fillers, which is good, but uh, not really doing much either. 6 5 Fire Elemental. What I can do is I can use my implosion on it. Okay. I still have to come up with two, well, four mana with the stuff somehow. Well, I may as well deal Shadow Bolt to that. 
And I have to use one of my uh, spare parts here. I guess I'll use the coolant. That's pretty random, but it will have to do for now. Hmm. A little lava shot going. Magma Rager, okay. Oh, there we go. There's there's what I'm looking for. So the Melganus is going to come into play now. And it makes these guys a lot stronger. And it can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, too. So seven, I don't think I quite have lethal yet. I only have the 17, 20, 29 total damage right now. But I need to start clearing out some uh, some imps here. So I guess we'll go for him right now. Get rid of that. And pile the rest of these imps onto him. And my turn. Living Bomb. Again, he's going to use a Living Bomb on this. Mm. That doesn't really matter anyways because we have Lethal now. So, and that's it. That is a quick and dirty guide to Baron Gen. It's one of the more difficult encounters I found, and but this Warlock deck uh, does come in handy. You don't absolutely need to have a Malganus, but as you can kind of tell, I didn't really need need him at the end there. But having him on curb is kind of nice to have, and it does give you that extra uh, little buffer at the end. So good luck, and uh, have fun with the uh, adventure. Check out the rest of our videos on the Blizzard Watch YouTube channel there. We'll have the rest of the heroic guides for uh, the Molten Core Wing.